Leaders of the Dallas Police and Fire Unions are concerned that future plans for their pension system could run into financial trouble again. Fox News' Lori Brown live at City Hall with the story. Lori. Heather, we obtained an email labeled confidential where the leader of the city's bond task force informed the mayor and city council members that before the city uses its bonding capacity for infrastructure needs, it may need to consider the concerns by the leaders of the police and fire associations. Seven years ago, retired Dallas police and firefighters packed pension board meetings as the fund faced a then imminent threat of going broke. You are worried about the sustainability of this fund. We get it. Fearing drastic cuts to benefits, hundreds of police officers and firefighters retired. You know, we're still recovering from what happened in 2017 when we had the, the mass exodus of, of members. The pension system faced a $3 billion shortfall overseen by then director Richard Tadiment. The fund made risky investments that lost hundreds of millions of dollars. The deals included ultra luxury homes in Hawaii, Aspen and California and the $200 million museum tower in downtown Dallas. Tadiment was ousted in 2014. Three years later, state lawmakers passed a bill that Dallas Fire Association President Jim McDade says created a seven-year band-aid. Everybody recognizes this, this uh, funding piece that we need to get in place. Monday, McDade, along with Mike Mata, president of the Dallas Police Association, wrote letters requesting that the mayor and city council delay the next bond vote until the city figures out how to fund the pension system shortfall. The current city proposal is to put $400 million toward the pension, but McDade says the real amount is triple that amount. The committee the other day, you know, hit on the number of about one and a half billion that gets us heading in the right direction. Aran Argawal is the chair of the city's bond task force examining infrastructure needs. The city has a debt limit of $1.5 billion, but committees have already found needs going beyond that amount. They've come with $1.8 billion in needs right now. So, uh, you know, and you can imagine I don't envy their job and now it, when it comes to our job becomes even more challenging. Argawal says the bond as it is currently outlined would focus on funding four areas, streets and transportation, erosion and flood control, critical facilities and housing and economic development. All important goals, but none addressing the pension issue. After getting letters from the police and fire associations, Argawal sent the email we later obtained. It was my duty to inform mayor and city council. They would request that bond uh, process should take a pause. Dallas Mayor Pro Tem Tanel Atkins is chair of the city's pension ad hoc committee. He told me that the city will need to examine every option and funding the pension is something that the city must resolve. New numbers about the pension solvency are expected to be released next month.